Okay, this is Dow Gold Chart Theory Video 1. I plan to do a series of videos on this same subject, so this is just the first one. Let's go to Slideshow, play from current slide. I'm going to do my best to talk faster than I normally do because I talk slow. Please feel free to click on the uh, speed the video up. You can do that in YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to limit the goals of this video so that the video will hopefully end up be shorter than 20 minutes. Like I said, uh, I think that uh, you can speed it up if you want to. If you find my talking too slow, I am doing my best to learn how to talk a little faster. So uh, video one goals show how two points predict the third show how two end patterns predict the third and we're going to use the Dow Gold chart to determine when to be in stocks versus when to be in gold and then finally I'm going to compare the potential of being all in cash versus all in gold versus all in stocks versus switching between gold and stocks um, this is the chart I'm using. You can Google that and find the live chart, and I encourage you to play around with that. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is, so that I don't get sidetracked on a tangent, and I'm, I circled in red the things I'm going to hold off and talk about in a future video. So I'm, again, I'm limiting myself to those topics in order to make the video hopefully come in less than uh, uh, 20 minutes. And most everybody's heard of that theory that periodically the Dow priced in gold, which is what this chart is, returns to one. And it doesn't return exactly to one, uh, but for our purposes, that's fine. And I do have, if you go to the live chart, I would encourage you to do this. I do have the log scale clicked on simply because it works better that way. Uh, there's no other reason. Um, and the general idea, since this is a ratio chart, Dow in the numerator and gold in the denominator, is that when the chart's going up, stocks are much better. And when the chart's going down, gold is much better than stocks. And I suggest that you pause the video and see if you can find two points that predict a third point. Because the next slide I'm going to show you. And here's the results. And this is amazing. Uh, the, these two points predict this point perfectly. Uh, this point down here, which is hard to see, I'll get to that later. And that point predicts the most recent switching point of September 2000, end of month, September 2018, uh, as, the, as a switching point to switch from stocks into gold. And uh, so here's the future point, and let's continue on. Uh, here is one of the patterns I want you to see is and the pattern, to just, just to describe it in words, is that the Dow goes up and the Dow goes down, obviously. But on its way down, it does something that is predictable. It hits a certain point and it retraces a, a kind of a massive amount, significant amount, more significant as time goes on. This is one of the biggest rises in the stock market history. So you want to be in stocks from there to there. Um, and this is the future point uh, that is predicted and it'll go to. So let's continue on. Here's a schematic. Uh, I'd sketch this out just to make it easier to see. And I'm going to add some other uh, data to these point to these dates right here. This one on the live chart, it's hard to see that pattern because it's so small. Uh, but that's where it started. And uh, I call it an M. It's a kind of a funky looking M, but you can call it what you want. It's just simply the Dow going up 
and what goes up must come down but it jogs up real significantly before it finally goes down to the Dow and this is the Dow gold line equals one it's not exactly one as you can see it has a slope to it but let's just call it one for now okay so I zoomed in on the uh, chart at the beginning and the way you can do that on the live chart and it took me I didn't even realize you could do this um, so use these little handles right here and you can zoom in it makes it easier to pick out data points uh, as well and again I know that this is on long scale and there's the first end pattern okay here is uh, the Dow Gold Ratio chart schematic, uh, you know, just for ease of view. And I put in all these data points in case I need them in calculations, which I'll show you later. I did need them in calculations. And again, in red and circled, I want to show you where I got the date and where I got the value. And my goal in future videos is to calculate this number and this date as many times as I can and see if I come up with some correlations. But for now, I mean, for example, this number, I calculated four values already. And that's the one I think works best. That's a future video. So let's move on. Okay, this seems kind of silly, but if in 1915 you had $1,000, and you put it under the mattress because you didn't trust banks and there's a lot of people that did that uh, cash was as good as gold back way back when because it was based on gold you could trade it in uh, and you put uh, at, at the present day you would find that you had one thousand dollars of course that's kind of silly but that's our base case for comparison now Let's take $1,000 and just buy gold from here to here, which is all that's known. We're, we're right here, and I know it's a little bit. This is the end of December, uh, beginning of January. And we're actually in the first week, week of uh, January as I talk, but this is close enough for this stuff. Uh, uh, the result is 1000 becomes 78000 and the conclusion I come to is gold is better than cash 78 times. Uh, 78 times better than cash over the long term. So it's not a great investment, but as a comparison, if you think of it as money, hey, did a lot better than cash did. 78 times better. Now, here is one maybe that the gold bugs won't like, but it's just the fact. If you invested in the Dow back then and you held it until now, you would have ended up with $378,000, let's call it. So the Dow is nearly five times better than gold over the long term. Okay, there's the calculations. I've got the formulas there. Please tell me if I have an error. And you've got the data right there. So you, I strongly suggest you redo the calculations. And if you find I've made an error, please tell me. Okay, now what we're going to do is, even though the absolute earliest, absolute earliest that we could have known any of this pattern existed, would be after 1980 when it turned up and really right there it, it would have been easier to notice it right there after it, it had hit that point perfectly which it did and i'll just i'm not going to do a lot of personal stuff but occasionally i will and i'll just tell you personally i didn't recognize this pattern until right there i haven't seen any videos on it and hence the reason why i'm making a video and um, if I had a gun to my head and had to calculate what are the odds that this is going to continue down here, just like it's done every time in the past, I would, one calculation, a minimum actually, would be one, two, three, four, 
times it did did the did exactly what we thought it would and then the fifth time is question mark i should have a question mark there so four out of five is an 80 percent chance minimum that's that's the minimum and here's here's the uh number it's just please check it it seems even large to me but i couldn't find an error a thousand dollars you know if you do this perfect switching all the way to the present and it becomes $10.6 trillion, and that's about 28,000 times better than just going all in on the Dow. So there's, those are the comparisons I wanted to make. Uh, that's just a reprint of that same chart uh, if you need it. And um, here's the optimum switching count. So I've got, I got the formulas there. And so uh, if you switch optimally, that's just the cap, $10.6 trillion. A thousand in, in 19, now keep in mind, that seems like a large number, but maybe, I think it's right, I can't find an error. Please tell me if you find something wrong. Uh, it seems reasonable, I guess, uh, that switching, you're gonna end up with $10.6 trillion. Now just for fun, since I made this spreadsheet like this, why not look and see what would happen? Notice I'm going Dow Gold, Dow Gold, Dow Gold, which is the correct way to switch. Well, I just thought it'd be fun. What if I did the opposite? And this seems like to me that this is kind of good info, but I couldn't tell you why. But it, I just, I let's just call it for fun. So instead of going Dow gold, Dow gold, I went gold, Dow gold, Dow, the exact wrong decision every time. And the $1,000 ends up being $3 at the end of that, uh, if you were unlucky enough to do that. Okay, so the conclusion I come to, and I'm going to read this as fast as I can. Like I said, I talk slow. Please speed the video up. Uh, you can do that in YouTube. It's well worth it to switch back and forth between gold and stocks with the predictive signal from the Dow Gold Ratio chart. Uh, right now the chart's telling us that we should have switched out of stocks and into gold at the end of September 2018. That was the signal, and that sig these are long-term signals. Uh, as best I can tell, that signal's gonna be good for the next three to five years, or until the Dow Ratio drops to one, or actually this time is projected to drop to 0.62. Okay, that if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And uh, oh, I do have another slide at the end here. I compared, uh, and I put a bigger number in here because uh, I figured by 2018, put your own number in there, you know, but uh, you, in 2018, you would have had more money. Okay, if you've invested well. Uh, maybe a million dollars. I don't know, put your own number in there. Um, the Dow has actually gone up. Even though it's at an all-time high, it's crept up. And you earned a respectable 6% compared to, you know, 2 or 1.5% that you would get in a CD. However, if you just invested directly in the metal, uh, you would have done that well. And I've got ideas for future videos. The very next one is that I, I feel like I should do this one. And uh, I'll in, if it doesn't take too long, I'll include something else in here, but these all may be um, individual videos. And I'll just keep adding to the ideas for the future video. And uh, you're free to ask any questions that you want and uh, thank you for watching and uh until the next video